All right, what's going on guys? We're in a new spot I found actually. We're in a nice little parking garage. So the train is coming now that I started recording because that's exactly how it usually happens. But basically what we're doing here today is I'm just gonna show you what I have done to the car so far and a couple things that I wanna do that I kinda don't know where to go with and I'm hoping that some of you guys can help me figure that out. So interior wise so far, we haven't done a whole lot. I've got the wink mirror installed. So there's the wink mirror there. I'll probably do a reinstall video because if you watch how this is installed, it's just really kind of sloppily thrown together the way I did it. The day I got the mirror, I was really excited and I just kind of threw it in there and it's not in there too great. Um, so you guys get to see that because that's kind of cool and it's something that not a lot of people do, but this car is such wicked blind spots that I figure I'm, I was gonna try it out and I actually really do like it. And the only other interior mod we've done is just made this custom little Crown Royal shift boot. Now that's also something that's a little bit different because I've watched a lot of videos on how to do it when I was actually making mine. And what I found was a lot of people did it, but they never did it to the BRZ and the boot doesn't necessarily fit uh, that Crown Royal bag as well as I thought it was going to. So I had to do quite a bit of MacGyvering to make it work. So maybe I'll show another video one day if I make another one a little bit better than this one. And you guys can see how I did that too. As far as the exterior, I just have the greasiest rally armor mud flaps right now, covered in salt. Winter tires were running just cheap winter Claw 20555 R16s on just steel wheels. Now those are actually a downsize from the regular tire just to cut through the snow a little bit and make it a little bit better. And we've also done the NVIDIA N1 exhaust install. You can watch that on my channel as well and the review. But that's all we've done so far to the exterior of the car. Now something I really wanted to get help with was should I go bags or coils? I cannot decide. Now I drive on a lot of not unpaved but very poorly paved roads but i was thinking oh you know maybe bags will be better and then i'm like well maybe coils because they're cheaper for one and i don't necessarily need the bags plus wintering the car if i do winter it again but even if not if the bags get cold it's not necessarily the best thing for it to happen right so i just don't necessarily have the money to bag the car i don't think unless i can get a good deal on some bags uh, i might do that but for now i'm more leaning towards coilovers which is kind of sad because i was really excited to bag the car and have like a bagged brz that'd be pretty cool but i'm kind of starting to lean a little bit more towards coilovers i'm thinking the flex z from tn coilovers if that's how you say it tn Oh. So come spring we're gonna need wheels and we're gonna need some kind of suspension upgrade. As for wheels, I kind of like the fast, I believe they're called FC04s. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they are. I'll put a link in the description to the ones that I do like. So I'm thinking about getting those and some coilovers. Doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly where I'm going, but as of right now, that's what I'm thinking along the lines of. If you guys have any recommendations or you've seen something you like better or whatever, let me know, that'd be cool. But for now, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Now that the sun's shining right in my glasses, I can see it. Do you see it? Do you see it? I need to get my windows tinted really bad. That way when I do these in-car videos, you guys don't get this garbage, garbage. You can see me better. I need to get my windows tinted. I'm probably gonna do that really soon, actually. Anyway, so yeah, I have the exhaust, the mud flaps, and the tires done on the outside, and that's really it. And I don't, if a lot of you watch these videos, I don't know how many of you pay attention, but if you do pay attention to this, I don't have a front license plate on my car, and I live in Ontario, and technically it is the law to have a front license plate. Um, now, I did have a cruise before, and I had no license plate on the front of that for a, over a year. Uh, and this car, I've had it for four, almost five months now, and I haven't had a plate on it yet, and I've never been bugged once for it. The first time I get bugged, I'm going to put a plate on it. But I just haven't been bugged, and I think this car looks so clean without that plate on the front that I just haven't done that yet. Now as for what's to come on the outside, I want to do something with the taillights, but I'm not quite ready to spend the much money on aftermarket taillights yet, so I'm still deciding if I should nightshade, uh, like just red out the taillights, or if I should buy a vinyl overlay and do the vinyl myself. I'm kind of leaning towards more of just wrapping the headlights, because I can take that off if I ever want to resell it or sell the lights or whatever, I can do that. Whereas if I paint them, I'm pretty much out of luck. Another thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get LEDs for the fog lights so that the fog lights match the headlights because I kind of don't like how this car looks so nice and it has the really nice HID headlights, but then the fog lights are like regular halogen bulbs and it looks kind of weird. So I might do that and upgrade the, the fog lights a little bit. I also am going to get new side marker lights, uh, probably clear lens. Uh, I don't really know which ones to go with though. There's so many options and like... I don't know which ones are good and which ones are junk and I don't want to get ones that are just going to get ruined and I want to, I don't want to spend a lot of money because it's just a side marker light but I don't want to cheap out and have one break on me or something so I really don't know where to go with those. 
but those are something I'll figure out pretty soon. And I mean, as far as everything else, uh, I'm not too sure how much is gonna come and how fast it's gonna come. I can tell you I am gonna be installing the sub from my old car in this car. I have the old sub and amp, so that's something I will be doing. I'll be putting that in this. I have an LED bar, like a light bar. Now I had it in my old car, and I don't really know how I feel about putting it in this car. It's like 24 inches, so it'll just fit in that little bottom space. And I think it might look kind of cool, so I don't know if I'm gonna go with that. But let me guys, let me know what you guys think. If you wanna see that, even if I just throw it on, you guys see how it looks. And maybe I'll like it once it's on, but uh, I, maybe I'll throw it on. I'm not too sure yet. No one really does that, so that might be something cool because it's not something really popular that you see a lot. And off the top of my head, guys, that's really it. That's all I can think about. Um, but anything I do do, you guys will be brought along, and I'll bring this the channel with me, and I'll show you guys everything I am doing. So you guys will always be up to date on what I do. Um, the car is brand new. I bought it in September brand new. So there's a lot of warranties and stuff that I don't really want to avoid. But if this channel keeps working out and you guys are really interested in seeing me do stuff to the car and you guys want to support me and help me do that, then I, that's definitely something I will do and get more serious. And it'd be amazing one day to have this car turboed or supercharged or something, but I can't just necessarily go drop all that on a brand new car. And I don't have the money for that, first of all. I'm still in school. And... I don't know, but if you guys keep helping me and keep supporting me the way you have, so far it's been amazing. And if you guys keep that up, maybe we can work something really, really cool. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for the support, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.